I want to make this. I think it's going to be useful. Yeah, come on, let's see it open, let's see it open. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Kind of, kind of like that. But way lighter duty. I think I start with this. I do have some new sheets of stuff, but I think I might have something in the scrap. Right, if I have a one foot radius there, and I have a one foot distance from here to there, that means this is going to... Okay, this is a vertical line. Closed would be like that, it would fill up to here. That's pretty good. And it would be able to open. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, I like it. Decided to go with a sheet of aluminum aluminum for this. Oh, too much. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, about right. If I did this right, one of these fits inside the other that is pretty good. Yeah. Coach, we got the new, the new shoulder pads ready, ready to go here. Now, what do I use as the arm that this thing attaches to? 
Yeah, I need to know what this is so I can figure out how it attaches to it. All right, fine. I'm just going with the big one. But <laughs> check out how thick this is. It's way overkill. Based on where I want to put this, it needs to be 16 feet long, which is about five meters. check. See, I weigh about 200 pounds and I'm wearing like a 35 pound weight vest from morning exercises. So 230, 240 pounds. Yeah, good. All right, that's about where that goes. Ooh, how does this attach? I mean, obviously, I'll put a bolt through there and a bolt down here. However, I'm wondering if I can bend this. Just hitting it with a hammer was eh, not looking great. But I think that's good. Let's cut a V out of there and bent it over. Okay, now I'm starting to get excited about this. A little sticky though. It should just fall open. I mean, when there's weight in it, it'll open easily for sure. Let's have to loosen that. This stuff snaps if you bend it at a sharp angle, but if you make it in a rounded thing like that, totally fine. How much closing force do I want here? I think enough to warrant, well, a pulley here, probably one or two down here. Fine when there's weight in it. I loosen these bolts a little bit and
was thinking I'd have to reinforce this more, but it is, that is mighty strong. Definitely strong enough for at least a test anyway. Yeah, it'd be nice if that fits snug. Hmm. You can put more holes in this thing and drain faster. I don't want all that water. Oh. <sighs> you can just leave it like that for storage. Uh, I did move some muck, so what I want to use this for is to clean out sediment that falls in here and in this canal that goes all the way out to the ocean because it slowly fills up with gunk. And I've built several machines <laughs> to clean it out, but uh, yeah, they've all worked. But none have worked well enough that I want to keep using them. They're all either like too slow or too cumbersome or just too much of a pain to deal with, you know? So I guess I'll see how this goes. See if that's any better. It'd be nice if I can move the boat. The tide's too low. Oh wait. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. Alright, I already got a scoop over there. or something to help it open. Or a weight or something. I want to open more, open more. 
What if you pull on it more? Well, if I pull on it. Oh, that closes it? It closes it, yep. You didn't get that. Well, I can see a blob of dirt in there. We got some. I got some. It'll be better when I can move it to a spot where there's more muck. Hey, watch out. Check this out. I gotta get it open. Isn't that <laughs> great? <laughs> yeah. When there's weight in it, it opens really easy. All right, let's see if I can move over a little more. Woo! I already did some digging over here. That's why there's not that much muck left. Right there. Oh, I think you got some. That's something. Got some palm tree over there. I hope I got something. I'm gonna have to put more, more holes. It's really heavy when it's full of water. As soon as it drains out, it's a lot easier. Plus, I don't want to dump water. I see some, I see some. I don't want to dump water up on the muck to wash it all back. Over there, it'll work better. Because over there, I'm going to put the muck like over some land into like a lower part. So it won't hey, there, wash that's back muck, in. That's muck thing. Yeah, there's muck. I got some. You're right. I need more drain holes, don't I? Yep. Uh, I guess right there too. It oh. opens so good. Alright, maybe I can get a scoop right by the shore. Yeah, it would be nice to have something to make it open more, like just stay open better, you know? I could put a I could put a spring between those two bars that kind of squeeze it a little. Or I could put some weight on there and just pull it down. Of course, any weight I add reduces the amount of weight I can lift in it. But I can put a counterbalance back here. You know what counter, counterbalance is? Just some weight back here. I'm the counterbalance for this. So see if I pull this down and lift that, I'm the counterbalance. Oh, I lost some muck? Yeah. Oh, man. Out of the bottom? Yeah. Oh, I think I got a pretty good scoop, though. See a bunch of crap in there. Good and I need to make... I need to make lower drain holes. Yeah. No, it's working pretty well. Well, the real test will be when I get back there and the rest of the canal where there's like this much muck in the bottom of it all down there. I don't want it to splat. I want it to stay there. <laughs> I gotta say, this is way more fun than jumping in with a bunch of buckets and like getting in the muck. <laughs> so even if it... I could get this to just open a little better. Come on. Um, yeah, even if this isn't quite as fast as doing it just with buckets, way more fun. You must have hit like some rock or something. Well, this, this part doesn't have very deep muck. It's too solid on the bottom there. <laughs> look at the drain holes. They look like little dreadlocks. You know what dreadlocks are? No. It's like when your hair gets all... How do you explain it? Knotted? Caveman hair. Uh, yeah, like all knotted and long. You know when Bellatrix doesn't brush her hair for like a week? Yeah, kind of like that. 
Percy has dreadlocks. Yeah. But it's interesting what happens. Yeah, I need more drain holes. Other than that, this is pretty good. He said, I want to put that right there. It's going to wash away the other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty happy with that, except I want the thing to open a little bit more easily. Although, it might, it might just need to get loosened up. Like, as I use it, I'm actually noticing it's starting to get a little looser. Because yesterday... I was testing it the first time, but like I really had to shake it to get it to open. And now it's opening more easily anyway. It's kind of easier to use than I was thinking it was going to be. Like it kind of works well holding this with one hand and the rope with another hand. I, was, uh, I thought you made like a big, I, I like a blind well, you know, as I was building this, I kept thinking about you, thinking, oh man, Arcadia's going to want to use this. But the only way you could use it if it's like motorized. Because mm -hmm. you're not heavy enough yet. But once I eat, Mama says I'll be able to use it. When you are a Mama baby. I'm going to love this thing. Alright, I just need to wait till the the tide uh, comes back in and we can move the boat, get to some better spots. I don't know, maybe I can get a couple more scoops. Hey Gary, the leaves aren't in there anymore. What? The leaf isn't in there. The leaf? 